Hvad er det? 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 Hvad er Morning everybody. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Great to have you join us. I'm just going to find our Morning Prayer app. Uh, so if you're following at home, then it's called Daily Prayer. And I downloaded it from um, on Apple, so the Apple Store, but I know Android have it as well. So great to have you join us on this somewhat soggy morning. Uh, um, we have a new challenge, um, and it's not having a basset, it's, it's recognising my mugs. Um, so I know one of our younger viewers, Samuel. Um, so Samuel, the, the challenge for you today is, I think it's on here, identify the Teddy series from this mug and send me a message. So I hope you've got a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, you're comfortable, you may even have a, a hound on your lap. Um, but welcome to our service this morning. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth their increase. God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So our appointed psalm is long. <laughs> it's very long. <laughs> I may do part of the psalm. Um, tell you what, I'll do Psalm 37, and then we'll take a break at an appropriate point, because uh, it is long. Um, so we'll do 37, and I'll break it partway through. Fret not because of evildoers. Be not jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like grass, and like the green herb fade away. Trust in the Lord, and be doing good. Dwell in the land, and be nourished with truth. Let your delight be in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord, and put your trust in him, and he will bring it to pass. He will make your righteousness as clear as the light, and you're just dealing as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait for him. Do not fret over those that prosper as they follow their evil schemes. Refrain from anger and abandon wrath. Do not fret, lest you be moved to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. For those who wait upon the Lord shall possess the land. Yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. You will search for their place, and find them gone. For the lowly shall possess the land, and shall delight in the abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the righteous, and gnash at them with their teeth. The Lord shall laugh at the wicked, for he sees that their day is coming. The wicked draw their sword and bend their bow to strike down the poor and needy to slaughter those who walk in truth. 
their sword shall go through their own hearts, and their bows, so in their bows shall be broken. The little that the righteous have is better than the great riches of the wicked, for the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the godly, and their inheritance shall stand for ever. They shall not be put to shame in the perilous time, and in days of famine they shall have enough. But the wicked shall perish, like the glory of the meadows, the enemies of the Lord shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked borrower do not repay, but the righteous are generous in living. For those who are blessed by God shall possess the land, but those who are cursed by him shall be rooted out. When your steps are guided by the Lord, and you delight in his way, though you stumble, you shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds you fast by the hand. I have been young and now am old, yet never have I seen the righteous forsaken, or the children begging their bread. All the day long they are generous in lending, and their children also shall be blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and you shall abide forever. For the Lord loves a thing that is right, and will not forsake his faithful, his faithful ones. The unjust shall be destroyed forever, and the offspring of the wicked shall be rooted out. The righteous shall possess the land, and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and their tongue speaks a thing that is right. The law of their God is in their hearts, and their footsteps shall not slide. The wicked spy on the righteous, and seek occasions to slay them. The Lord will not leave them in their land, nor let them be condemned when they are judged. Wait upon the Lord and keep his way. He will raise you up to possess the land, and when the wicked are uprooted, you shall see it. I myself have seen the wicked in great power and flourishing like a tree in full leaf. I went by and lo, they were gone. I saw them, but, could, but they could nowhere be found. Keep innocence and heed the thing that is right, for that will bring you peace at the last. But the sinner shall perish together and the posterity of the wicked shall be rooted out. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord and he is their stronghold in a time of trouble. The Lord shall stand by them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and shall save them, because they have put their trust in him. It seemed too good a psalm to break part way through. It's a good psalm. Um, very similar in style and tone to kind of Ecclesiastes. Um, you do wonder if there's a, the same kind of penmanship and this kind of same hand sometimes behind these, which also means it's God. Um, but actually that kind of human author. So glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. If you want to follow our Old Testament, it's Joshua 23, but I'm going to skip forward to our New Testament, which is Luke 12, 32 to 40. And then sleepy... No. <laughs> Hang on. It seems slightly harsh resting my iPad on her head. I <laughs> don't mind resting on her back, but her head seems really mean. Morning, snoozy girl. Hey, you pop it. So, our New Testament, so it's Gospel of Luke. Sorry, I've lost my place. Here we go. So Luke 12, 32 to 40. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Be dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master return from the wedding banquet, so that they may open the door to the, so that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. 
blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly I tell you, he will fasten his belts and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. But know this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. And now collect. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So we're going to pray. Um, I picked up the prayers also from the Allen Chapel. Um, so if anybody's watching this um, and they drop in prayers into the Allen Chapel prayer box, then just be reassured that actually I'll pick them up and pray for them on Mondays and Thursdays when I lead morning prayer. So shall we pray? Gracious Lord, we pray for the wife of Richard Staines. Father, we pray that you would be her comfort. Father, you would be her rock. Father, she would know such a sense of your peace and your presence. Be with her and carry her, O Lord, we ask. And for all others who are grieving the loss of somebody dear to them, we pray for them. Father, we remember them by name before you now. We also pray for those who are ill, or those who are struggling with depression or any other anxieties. We pray for those who are feeling isolated and lonely. We bring them before you, O oh Lord. We pray for ourselves as a nation. Lord, as we wrestle with our history and how we've sometimes misused others for our own gain. Father, we pray for fairness, for justice, for equity. Father, we pray for real wisdom at both government and local level. Father, in how we can create and form a just society where all people are treated fairly and rightly. We pray for ourselves that, Lord, we might be catalysts of change. We would confront racism in every form. Give us boldness and courage, we pray. We pray for your churches, Lord, and we thank you that the doors are starting to be open for your communities to come in and to seek a place of refuge and solace. Father, may all your churches indeed be beacons, lighthouses, if you like, places of safety and sanctuary. 
We pray for wisdom for all those who lead all the different churches throughout our town and beyond. Be with them, O oh Lord, we pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for these moments We you welcome us into your presence to pour out our hearts to you. Gracious Lord, help us to find moments every day to just dwell and to abide with you. So merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as the Lord taught us, so may we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the bark you just heard in the background is our Chihuahua, Benjamin. And I can almost guarantee what he's doing is squirrel chasing. He has a thing about the squirrels. Now, admittedly, the squirrels are stealing the bird food, but he is taking it very seriously, the duty of watching out for squirrels. So the bark is one of indignation, having seen a very brave and courageous squirrel. And I can always guarantee he has now raced outside to chase down said squirrel. It's very amusing. Squirrel and Benjamin are about the same size. Anyway, the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So it's great to have you join us today. Um, do keep safe, keep in contact with, an, well, with one another, keep close to God in prayer, study God's word and digest it. I look forward to seeing you in the fullness of time. So bless you. Till next time. Bye bye. Hello, Mrs. Mina. Daddy now needs to get up and edit the video. <laughs> So it's not likely. Eh, not likely, Daddy. It won't edit itself. It says, I don't care. I know you don't. Eh, I know you don't. Pop it. Mm -hmm.